Hey Dave, how you doing today? Not bad, Nick. What's new with you? Not a whole lot. Just coming back after a pretty good weekend to a nice gloomy Monday here in <laughs> Michigan. More of hey, this to come, I'm sure. You know, there's nothing wrong with gloomy weather on a Monday afternoon because uh, you got to be here anyway, right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rather What's today that? than Saturday or Sunday, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, we've got a new series that we're starting here podcast wise. We're going to kind of go through and detail our new our strategic, reliable blueprint process for financial planning. And um, so we're excited about that. We're just going to kind of take a stage every week here for the next six or seven weeks or so and go through each of the stages of our planning process to kind of give our listeners an idea of, you know, how we kind of go about taking the, you know, financial planning process and breaking it down into separate steps and why and what that all entails. So hopefully our listeners will find it useful and um, it should be informative and, and kind of a, a look under the hood a little yeah. bit of how the process works. Well, and along the way, we can kind of talk about um, things that folks who are looking for financial planners should think about, um, you know, whether we're a good fit or not isn't really the point, but maybe to give uh, give everybody kind of an idea of the right questions to ask and the things you should look for um, to make sure that the financial planners that uh, that you do choose to work with are, are the right folks for you. Yeah, I think that's a great point. And I, and I think that, um, you know, the first thing that I would say as you're out there and, and working with financial planners or looking for financial planners is what is your process? And one of the things that's been a big point uh, for us over the last couple of years is just really getting this process down into writing, honing our process. Right. It's kind of a continual involvement where we're always right. trying to evolve it and get better and be more strategic about it. Um, but, you know, I don't know about you, but when I first started financial planning, put that into air quotes yeah. for the people that are on YouTube. Um, when I started financial planning, yes, the, the CFP board has a financial planning process, um, so to speak, yeah. but it's not really, you know, it, it's more of an idea than a, you know, a concrete process. And so, you know, this is kind of, kind of a, a passion point of ours to have this process and why we do it and how we do it and why we're always trying to improve it. Um, right. But it, it's a it's a planning process and not a sales process. And a lot of, you know, early in my career, it was more about sales <laughs> process than it was about planning process. And yeah. And so I it, think that's probably one of the reasons why I'm so proud of it. Well, yeah, you, we're terribly proud of it. We've worked really hard on it. It's the sum of uh, some 35 years of experience between the two of us and uh, yes. then a lot of work um, with our with our teammates, Amy and Jeff and uh even some outside help to try to uh, put it fully into operation. Um, but at the same time, I kind of chuckle, like we should record this again in a year and talk about what's changed and what's evolved because it is always a work in progress, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, you know. For the better. 100%. And so we're always trying to improve on it. Um, and so I, I guess we're starting at the beginning today. So, mm -hmm. you know, when we have somebody that kind of comes in and is looking for assistance with financial planning. It starts with an uh, intro call with um, Jeff from our office, usually just to kind of give people the rundown yes. of you know, what we charge, how we charge, why we charge, what we do. Um, and that's not, you know, the first thing he says when he answers the phone. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's an important part because in one of the reasons why we do it this way, one of the reasons why we're so upfront about those costs is because usually it's buried somewhere in a 30 page document. And so a lot of people, when we ask them how much you're currently paying, they have no idea. Right. And right. we want to make sure we're very upfront about what those costs are so that you know what you're paying for and why you're paying for it. And so mm -hmm. cost obviously is kind of our introduction of how we charge and, and why we charge that way. Um, but also, you know, in the intro call, just getting to know us as a firm and, and seeing kind of what you're looking for in a planner. Um, and really to kind of answer any questions that you might have. And then we will typically schedule what's called our fit meeting, um, which is essentially a meeting between either myself and the prospective client or you, Dave, and the prospective client, where we kind of spend 30 minutes getting to know um, our 
client and or prospective client and they get to ask us questions to see if this is going to be a good fit. Yep. And, uh, and also to kind of get a feel for what they can expect to come out of the plan. You know, what's, what's the end result going to be? And we always emphasize that it's not an end result, really. It's a process that should be ongoing, you know, into the future as markets evolve, as goals evolve, as life evolves, the, the plan adapts with it. Yeah, it's interesting because usually what we find is people that come in either haven't worked with a financial planner before or they have worked with an advisor but never really have done any financial planning. And so a lot of that conversation centers around our process and why we do it that way. And, you know, a lot of the stuff we're going to talk about in the next couple of weeks comes out of that meeting. Um, but I, I think too, which which is interesting and kind of different than what you would think about. A lot of times, what we're looking for as well in terms of fit is is this client going to be a good fit for us? Right. Um, yes. And, and it's because it's not a sales pitch or a sales presentation. It's really about kind of figuring out: is there, you know, can I help this person? Are there things that they have that are outside of our scope or our area of expertise? Yes. Um, part of uh... Part of being a fiduciary is knowing what your uh, expertise is. And, you know, if somebody comes to us with a complex situation we've never seen before, yeah, you know, it's one thing to uh, try to research that problem and figure it all out ourselves. But, you know, oftentimes, too, the better answer is, hey, you know, I don't know anything about how to handle, uh, you know, if this was a real example, you know, I had a a prospect who really wanted to retire overseas to a particular country with a particular um, tax structure and uh, you know governmental relations with with our government in terms of how retirement plans are handled. I we were able to find an expert in that subject who handled nothing but expatriate retirees and knew exactly how that person should structure things in their thirties or forties to make sure they could retire in, uh, I can't remember where it was, um, Thailand, I believe. And, uh, you know, um, that's, that's part of it too, is, is we may not be the right fit, but we got a pretty deep pool of resources to draw from when we can find those weird situations. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's one of the things that I love about doing these fit meetings is, you know, if it's not a good fit on our end, we'll kind of go out of our way to help you find someone that's going to be a better fit for you. Because if nothing else, we want people to get good advice. We want them to, you know, have a relationship with a fiduciary financial planner because that's what we believe it is best for most people. And, and we do run across situations like your, you know, expatriate retiring into a different country that, you know, we don't know those answers and sure we can look mm -hmm. them up, but you could go to a, a knee surgeon and have him do brain surgery on you, but the outcome <laughs> probably isn't going to be as good. I'm sure he's a smart person and could figure, you know, could right. read some books and, right. and figure some stuff out for you, but that's probably not the outcome that you're looking for. stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night after all, <laughs> yeah. right? So, right, exactly. um, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of ins and outs that we try to discover during that intro call and, and make sure that, uh, that things are gonna gonna be a good mutual mutual fit. Yep, and, and sometimes it's not also not um, maybe so maybe it's not expertise, maybe it's capacity too. You know, mm -hmm. we have people that are looking for certain services, and the the planning process that we have, and and kind of the the model of how we do planning is overkill for some people, and so True. we're happy to try to find someone that's going to be a better fit for them at you know the price point that makes the most sense for the services yeah. that they need at this point in time because what we don't want you know as fiduciaries we don't want to charge someone more than they can maybe pay and pr right. to provide them with more services than what right. they need that doesn't make sense for them either well and and you know to put that kind of in a, a different different light a lot of people still seek us out for a particular investment problem and they're not necessarily looking for or realize that they need a whole comprehensive is the term the industry always uses a comprehensive plan. But you and I have kind of come around over the years to the conclusion that we really can't just handle an investment problem. There is no such thing as 
it is an investment problem on its own. It's always got to be in the context of how you are going to use that money to further your goals. And so without the bigger picture plan, it just doesn't, it just doesn't sit well with either of us. And some clients that's, they, they come in thinking that they're going to solve an investment problem. And we talk to them about what we'd really like to do. And that's right up their alley and, and it's, and it's great. And for others, it's, um, no, thanks. I really just, uh, just need, you know, this particular problem solved and maybe, you know, maybe we can help with that or maybe there's a better solution, but, uh, you know, we know, we kind of know what we like to do and how we want to go about financial planning. And it's not the same for everybody. Yeah, I, I agree wholeheartedly. And I, and I think one of the differences is, you know, with our, our combined 35 years of experience or so, <laughs> what we found is that, you know, what gets us excited about bringing on and working with people and bringing on new people is our ability to help them and to create plans, not necessarily just to provide them with, you know, investment recommendations, right, you know, that's right. not really what gets us excited to come to work every day. And, and we don't, you know, provide the most value in that situation It's more of, you know, we provide the value of what you're paying for and the planning work that we're doing, going through this process and figuring things out. Um, you know, that's what is exciting to us, but also it's what provides value to our clients. Yeah. Yeah. So, from the client's point of view, you know, what should they be looking for in that meeting? Yeah, I think, you know, if I'm a client coming into a financial planning meeting and, you know, and I've been on the other end of this when, when people come here who have worked with what they thought were financial planners. But I, I think the first thing is, do you have kind of a written process? Like, what is your process to go, you know, mm -hmm. is it, you know, do we meet one time and you, we talk about goals and then you give me a bunch of recommendations or do you have like a process that you follow to figure out where I'm at, you know, where I want to go and, you know, how to get there. And then you know, not only the process for figuring out the, the answer to your question, but how is that going to go over the next, you know, three, four years? How do we implement this plan that we spend three to six months putting together right, for you? Right. What's the implementation? What's the next steps of that? So I think for me, you know, obviously you want to find out, do you have a process? What does that process entail and how you're going to answer some of my mm -hmm. questions? Like, you know, can I retire at age 65 or whatever it is? How are you going to come to those conclusions? Yeah. Um, I think that's a big thing that people should be looking for. And, and another thing is, you know, we, we talk about it. We've done some podcasts around it. Um, we'll put some links in the show notes here, but you know, how do you get compensated? What's your compensation? Model? Mm -hmm. What does that look like? Are you a fiduciary? All those things that we kind of take for granted as fee only fiduciary planners, but those are questions that I would certainly ask so that not necessarily to say that you have to work with a fee only fiduciary, but if you're not, you're going to want to know that as the consumer. Right. Yeah. And you need to know, you need to know the difference so that you can put into context what you are paying and why. There's, there's no, you're right. There's not necessarily a right or wrong answer so long as you are making a conscious decision. The other thing I would say from the client perspective in this fit meeting um, that we, I don't think get asked enough is what are your credentials and experience? Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, do you have credentials as a financial planner and, and, and really think about what you're looking for? Are you looking for a financial planner? Are you looking for investment answers? Because that's where you're going to find the credentials and, and what we, you know, kind of the evolution of the financial planning world has been, you know, we, we have a lot of brokers, a lot of investment people that kind of give the financial plan away for free as kind of marketing so that they can mm -hmm. sell you investments. And so that goes back to that process question of, you know, what's your process? What am I paying for? If you are working with someone and they tell you that, you know, you get a free comprehensive plan, I would be a little bit leery of how that works and why that works that yeah. way, because yeah. there's nothing, <laughs> there's no such thing as a free financial plan. So is that a tool right. to sell me something else? Or is that the service that you're providing and charging for? For sure. For sure. And, uh, well, and, and overall philosophy too. Yeah. And, you know, we all have our, our biases and our prejudices and ways we think about the world. And many times I've had to say to clients over the years, you know, this is this is the kind of decision that 
other financial planners might feel differently about. And, you know, uh, um, whether it's, uh, you know, something as simple as when to do Roth conversions or how much risk you should take in certain accounts. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's always, there's always a subjective matter there. So what you want is to talk about what, what underlies those decisions, you know, um, what, uh, is there a reason why you like to recommend certain things or, uh, you know, what, what, in you, what in that planner's background has kind of influenced their recommendations? Yeah, absolutely. And, and so, you know, our fit meeting is a two way fit meeting, right? So it's, um, mm-hmm. are we going to be a good fit for you in terms of our firm? Can we, you know, kind of solve the, the questions that you have? Are we in a good position to solve that? Do we have the experience? Do we have the expertise in the areas that you need it? Mm-hmm. But on the client side, in terms of fit is, is this what you're looking for? Are you looking right. for a financial plan? Or are you looking for investment advice? Are you looking for you know, someone to set you up with a product, that's kind of where you have to go into these meetings and be able to express what you want and make sure that that person is a good fit for what you're trying to accomplish. Right. Yeah. No, if if you're looking for like fancy option strategies or something crazy with your investments, you know, I've been there, done that. And I'm not, that, that wouldn't be a good fit from my point of view. If you're going to be um, you know, wanting to trade individual stocks quite frequently, that's not going to be a good fit. Um, on the planning side, I once had a young prospect who wanted an index to compare his spending to his peer group and his savings to his peer group. That's not the way I think about financial planning. I know there's good planners out there that do that, but that just, that was going to be nothing but frustration for me. And he wasn't going to get what he was looking for. Yeah. You know, so... Yeah, I, I agree. You know, I think philosophies around planning and investing are important to make sure you align. And, you know, is this because if they don't and there's friction there, then, you know, you're going to spend a lot of money and get answers right. that you don't, you know, that aren't reasonable for the type of person that you are. You know, a right. great example would be if we have someone in here that doesn't want to invest at all, they're completely conservative. We're not a great fit for them because, you know, that we don't that philosophy doesn't match if they are just doing CDs and savings accounts right. and, and fixed things that we, you know, we can't add a lot of value there. So from the investment side of things. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I, I, that's a, a good, you know, a, a thing too, to make sure that those philosophies align when you're searching out for a financial planner. So yeah, that's our intro fit meeting phase one of the strategic reliable blueprint. Um, You know, it's, it's, it's very important to us. and And I think all of the people that we've had in those meetings either left with a recommendation for someone that could help them or moved on with us. And so, um, you know, we've had nothing but good feedback about that, but something to think about in terms of, you know, you want to make sure you're working with a planner that, you know, fits your needs and and they can fit, they can also, you know, have that expertise to help you out with what you're trying to accomplish. So absolutely. And so next time we'll, uh, we'll talk about the, uh, the first steps of actual planning then once the, uh, once we know a client is a good fit and the client knows we're a good fit for them. How yep. do we, uh... Step two, foundations. Yes. Um, so we'll talk through that process and, and the whys and the what's and the how's of it. So Great. look forward to that coming out here in about a week or so. And as always, if you have questions for us on our process or anything else financial plan related, shoot us an email at info at srbadvisors.com. Thanks, Nick. Good stuff, Dave. Yep. Enjoy the rest of your day. Talk to you later.